Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to create Active Directory site link in Windows Server 2022. In an Active Directory infrastructure setup, the domain represents the logical topology, while sites, subnets and site link represent the physical topology. Site links in Active Directory are used to connect different sites. It can be used to link two or more sites to mirror the physical connection topology between Active Directory sites. Site links also define the way in which the replication and logon authentication traffic flows between sites. By configuring site link properties such as site link schedule, replication cost, and interval, inter-site replication can be managed to be more efficient. Consider an organization with offices in New York, London, and Delhi with its headquarters in New York. However, all the offices belong to the same Active Directory domain. In the absence of sites, replication between the domain controllers in different locations will be slow and would use up a major portion of the link bandwidth. In addition to this, if a user from the New York office needs to be authenticated, they need to send out a request to all the available domain controllers and wait for one of them to respond. In case a domain controller from Delhi is the first to respond, it leads to an increase in network traffic and issues related to speed and bandwidth. However, with the implementation of sites, replication between domain controllers is managed so as to make the best use out of slow links. Similarly, authentication and services are also localized. So a user from the London office will be authenticated only by a local domain controller. This improves the speed and reduces the traffic. The site links helps the KCC decide which domain controllers should be replicating with each other. The KCC is an automatic function within Active Directory that has multiple tasks, one of which is ensuring that all domain controllers have suitable replication partners. There are two patterns for Active Directory site links. First is fully mesh and second is hub and spoke. In a full mesh topology, all sites are connected to each other over relatively similar link types. For a full mesh topology, you can have a single site link that contains all the defined Active Directory sites. A hub and spoke topology has one or more hub sites and multiple branch sites that communicate only with the nearest hub location. Typically, the hubs are central data centers, while the branch sites would be branch office locations or smaller remote data centers. All Active Directory sites contained within the same site link are considered to be connected by means of same network type. Sites must be manually linked to other sites by using site links so that domain controllers in one site can replicate directory changes from domain controllers in another site. The most important part of configuring the site link is ensuring that they match the network connectivity of these sites. If you create a site link and add sites to it that can't communicate with each other, you will likely end up with replication errors. The KCC assumes that all sites in each site link have full connectivity to each other and if that isn't the case, you can run into issues. Now let's see the steps to create new Active Directory site link in Active Directory. For this demo, we have single domain Active Directory forest named msftwebcast.com. In the last video, we have seen the steps to create new Active Directory site and subnet in Windows Server 2022. Membership in the Enterprise Admins Group in the Forest or the Domain Admins Group in the Forest Root Domain or Equivalent is the minimum required to complete this procedure. Open the Active Directory Sites and Services by clicking on Tools and then selecting Active Directory Sites and Services. Let me maximize the window. Under Sites, we can see 
we have two active directory sites delhi branch office and surat head office we have also created two subnets associated with our active directory sites 172.18.72.0/24 for our surat ajo active directory site and subnet 172.31.72.0/22 is for delhi branch office now expand into site transport click on ip we can see the default active directory site link with the name default ip site link this is the same active directory site link which we have selected in the last video while creating active directory site the cost and application interval for this site link can be seen as well the default cost is 100 and the application interval is set to 180 minutes right click default ip site link and select properties in the last video we have created a new active directory site named surat acho using the same steps i have created another ad site with the name delhi bio with subnet 172.31.72.0/22 at the moment all three active directory sites are included in this default site link in this video we want to create a separate site link for surat acho and delhi bio active directory site click okay to close the properties window right click the ip and select new site link and a desired name for this site link in this example i have given name surat delhi ip site link select delhi bio site click add again select surat acho site and click add remember a site link must contains at least two active directory sites we have selected surat acho and delhi bio sites for this site link click okay to create a new site link the link is then created with the default values however it can be optimized right click on the link and select properties from here you can change the site cost as per your connection bandwidth i'll provide the official link from microsoft in the description to calculate cost based on wan bandwidth by default the replication interval is 180 minutes you can change it as per your requirement click on change schedule from here you can specify when this site link is available for replication and when not unless you manually change it the site link will be available for replication 24/7 by default i'm not going to change this settings click on cancel again click on cancel in this video we have created a new active directory site link to connect our two active directory sites surat acho and delhi bio i hope now you know what active directory site link is and how to create it in windows server 2022 active directory that's all for this video on how to create active directory site link in windows server 2022 I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.